Heavy loads and steep mountain grades can lead to deadly crashes. Runaway truck ramps have long been a familiar sight on mountain highways, but new designs featuring mechanical arresters are becoming more common. YDOT has two CatchNet vehicle arrest systems, one outside Buffalo and one on Teton Pass. They've been used successfully a number of times, but a 2019 incident involving a pickup hauling logs warranted a redesign. We reviewed that with the company that manufactures this and the designers, and we came up with uh, a series of four points to improve the system to basically upgrade and modify it to a system that can handle the different shapes of vehicles and the different sizes of vehicles that run the Teton Pass. To ensure the modifications were sufficient, YDOT tested the retooled arrestor on Teton Pass by running a fully loaded plow truck into it at 60 miles an hour. It wasn't jarring at all. Coming to that stop from 60 miles an hour, I was surprised at how smooth the stop was. So it was, I was, I was fine. It was not a problem. You know, we're still evaluating this, but uh, initial indications show that this thing worked just the way it was supposed to. YDOT also hopes the test will reassure drivers that the system works properly and can prevent potentially deadly crashes. You're talking some damage to the front end, uh, a little bit of work, but it's a lot better to have your truck in the shop than to have you go into the morgue. Reminding you to drive safely and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.